Hello guys, welcome to Dennis Tech Tips. In this video, I am going to talk about ShareX. ShareX is a free and open source program for Microsoft Windows that you can use to take screenshots and also record your screen. Apart from capturing and recording the screen, this software has a lot of other features and I'm going to try to highlight some of them as this video progresses. So let's get started. To get ShareX on your PC, head over to Microsoft Store and search for ShareX. Click on the Install button or the Get button to kick off the download. Or you can get ShareX from the official website GetShareX.com. Links are in the description. After downloading and installing the program, when you launch it, it lands you right on the home screen. And right here you see a few keyboard shortcuts that you can use to carry out different commands. For example, Control plus the print screen button to capture a region of your screen. Print screen to capture the entire screen. Alt plus print screen to capture an active window. And the rest. When you head over to the left panel right here, within the capture menu, you can take a screenshot of your entire screen by clicking on the full screen button. With the window button, you can take a screenshot of an active window. When I hover my mouse over the button, I get this drop down menu. And right here, you can see all the windows that are running on my PC. And I can select the one I want to take a screenshot of. Let's say ShareX itself. With the monitor button, let's say I have multiple monitors connected to my PC and I want to take a screenshot of just one of them. Right here, I have all the monitors listed by size. And then I can go ahead and select the one I want to take a screenshot of. I only have one right here, which is the one I'm using right now. Next, you have region. With the region body selected, when I hover my mouse over any section of an open window, I see broken line borders around it. When I move the mouse to the bottom scroll bar, you see the border around the bar, the title bar, and this menu section up here. Now, with any of this region highlighted like this, when I click on any of them, that region will be captured. Up here, you have tools you can use to modify the screen if you want. You have line tool, arrow tool, text tool, speech balloon, step tool, magnify or zoom tool. You can even add stickers. You can blur a section of the screen or pixelate it. There's an highlighter and more. Next, you have the region light. With the region light, you can click and drag the border around any region of the screen you want to capture. The last region recaptures the last region you captured. Before I talk about screen recording or screen recording GIF, let me jump to scrolling capture. We will double back to that after. With the scrolling capture, you can take it up to the bottom screenshots or for example, an entire web page. So here I am on the ShareX website and I want to take a full screenshot of the website from top to bottom. I will select the scrolling capture option and click on the site and you get this window. Click on the start scrolling capture down here and it will start to capture the entire web page from top to bottom. After the capture, it will show you a preview. Click on upload save depending on after capture settings. Here I have it. Next, you have the auto capture. You can set ShareX on loop. That is, you can make ShareX take a screen capture after a designated time. For example, within the auto capture dialog, I can select the region I want to capture, whether a full screen or a particular region. And down here, I can choose how long it will take before the capture will repeat. I have 60 seconds here. That is, for every 60 seconds, ShareX will take a screenshot or capture my screen. To begin, hit on the Start button. To end the loop, go back to the Auto Capture, and down here you see the timer, and the total number captured already. You can hit on this Stop button to stop the loop. To record your screen with ShareX, head over to the Capture menu, Click on screen recording and click on the region you want to record. I want to record the ShareX window. If I want to record 
the entire screen, I will simply move my mouse outside the ShareX window and the entire screen will be highlighted. But for now, I just want to record this window. Click on it and it will start to record. Down here I have the recording time and two buttons to stop and to abort. The stop button stops and saves the recorded clip while the abort button simply aborts the command. Or head over to the system tray and there you find this red button which indicates that you are currently recording. When you click on it, the recording stops and you find the recorded clip listed here. To modify the screen recorder settings, head over to task settings, select screen recorder and click on screen recording options. Right here if you are using the screen recorder for the first time, click on this download button to download and install the encoder to create the video. Within audio source, you can select an input device or microphone. Video codec H.264 to compress the image without losing the quality of the video. Audio codec MP3. Constant rate factor or CRF28. Presets ultra fast. And the audio codec quality 4. When you are done, you can simply close the window. And right here you can set your frame per second. Apart from screen capture, ShareX has other amazing features. When you head over to tools, here you see many other things you can do with ShareX. I'm going to point out a few of them. You can go ahead and explore the rest. So I have a color picker, a ruler. You can do a lot of image jobs down here. You can edit, add image effects, view, combine, split. You can also convert a video file with this video converter. Within the input file part, you can select the location where you have the file you want to convert. So I have mine on my desktop. Select the folder and click on open folder. And within the output folder, select the location where you want the file to be saved after the conversion. I'm going to select my desktop again. Give it a file name. Then it's tech tips. Select H.264 as my video codec. Video quality. Down here zero is the highest and 51 the lowest. So you can set this between 20 and 25. When you are done, click on start encoding. Another interesting tool is the QR code creator. Right here you can encode and decode a QR code. All you need to do is to paste the URL up here and you get the QR code for the link. From here you can right click and copy it to your clipboard, save it as an image file, or upload it. So that's it. That is how to use ShareX. If you are interested, other than using ShareX, there are other ways you can capture and record your screen on Windows, such as using the Xbox Game Bar or the most popular and efficient screen recorder, OBS, Snip and Sketch, and more. I have videos on this channel that will guide you on how to get and use these different programs I just mentioned. The links are in the description of this video. Go check them out. So that's it. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like and support this channel by subscribing to the channel and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I post a new video. Thank you and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.